Hi, I'm Don Stegall. Over the past couple of years, my airplane building and flying has mostly been with the ARFs. I've been mostly working with ARF kits from the World Models and the Wings Maker for my Airborne Model Showcase website. I'm in the process of updating that website and some of, with some of the latest web technologies, and I enjoy doing that, but I like to build airplanes, especially fiberglass and molded composite parts. And I'm enjoying making videos of the work I do. This will be a multi-part series. I'll post the series and threads on RCU and RCPro.com in the forums. Back in 2008 or 2009, I was running the Club 40 Quickie 25 and AMA 424 races at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I happened to get a, a uh, Great Plains Viper 500 kit that measured 000 in relation to the firewall. At some point, I decided I was going to make fiberglass fuselages duplicating it. The Viper has external elevator linkages, and not much can really be done about that. Even within fiberglass, there will not be room for internal elevator link linkages. I've already done some of the prep work. I've removed the blind nuts from the firewall and the landing gear saddle. I took the bottom sheeting off under the stab saddle to remove the blind nuts that hold on the tail. I removed the push rod tubes and put a new piece of balsa over that area. Before I cover the tank area and the wing saddle, I'm going to fill all the holes that need to be filled. After I get the woodwork done, I'll put light fiberglass on with epoxy and prime and paint the plug. One thing I can't do is radius the edges up to the maximum allowed by the quickie rules. There will just be too much work. So this will be a clone of this particular fuselage. In the next video, I'll actually do the fuselage preparation. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. If you are an Android user, please check out my drill bit charts and RC calculators apps. They are available in free and paid versions. Please feel free to post comments on YouTube or in the forums. I hope to see you again soon and feel free to contact me via email or on Facebook.